Hi guys. Well, a few months ago, I showed some black and white photos on my channel. These were original photos that were given to me. Um, if you didn't see that video, I'll put the link down in the comments box below. But anyway, um, quite a few people um, commented on Facebook and, and stuff like that, that um, they wish they could come across black and white photos and I know that they're really hard to come by now. I know even um, around where I live, I never ever find them. So I just thought I would quickly make some faux photos and, um, you know, you can use them instead. I know they're not as <laughs> good as the original photos, but, um, you know, they're just to go in journals and they'll do the job. So what I've been doing, I've got a lot of encyclopedias and some of them have some really lovely photos, especially the really old ones with old clothing and cars. The old haircuts. You know, they're quite random photos. This encyclopedia has got more colour than black and white. But um, another one that I already cut up had heaps of black and white photos that that I use. See this one, this photos, this one's awesome. Her haircut, their flowery clothes, the little girl, I don't, long dress, long sleeves on the dress. I don't even know if that's pajamas. It might be pajamas. Um, like you know you see things like old tvs and carpet and <laughs> anyway that's like a really cool photo so that's one i'd totally use but anyway what i've been doing i just cut out a whole bunch of photos so i just went through found a bunch i really love these old farming style ones and also those industrial type ones you know uh, of um during the wartime, you know, the ladies working in the factories and stuff like that. I think they're, they're great photos. Little, little kids playing with their dolls. Anyway, so I just went through and I pulled out a whole bunch of black and white photos. And I've already chopped them up. And I kind of, the encyclopedia I went through, I didn't care if it was a big photo, a little photo. I didn't care, um, or picture. I didn't care what the picture was. I just chopped them all out. And if I don't use them as faux photos, I, I will use them for something else. Anyway, so I've chopped out a whole bunch of those. And I thought I would back them onto, I uh, thought I'd put them on something a bit thicker. So... These are some cardboard offcuts that my dad gave me after um, he retired. He was a graphic artist, screen printer, photographer, and um, the whole caboodle. And so he had a lot of materials left over, and so he's given me some. So this cardboard, um, some coffee dyed a lot better than others. Like this one's really nice. Maybe I didn't soak it long enough. Oh, actually, the other side's okay. Oh, yeah, one side's okay. Anyway, so I coffee dyed some cardboard. And this cardboard, it's quite rough and matte. It's good thickness. And I thought I would use this to um, for my photos. So what I might do is glue the picture down on this ugly side. And then this nice side will be on the back. And I've done a couple to start with. Oh. <laughs> my papers were out on the grass drying. And this is what my cheeky crows get up to. They were playing in them and pulled one apart. So I've just started sticking down some black and white pictures. Look at this one, so cute. Little girl at the stove. 
I really like these. You could also make um, faux postcards. This is a good postcard size. Anyway, I will make a few. So I'm just going to glue them down for now and then I'll chop them all up at the end. So when I've been cutting them out, um, if you use an encyclopedia, a lot of the time there's a little bit of writing just above the picture. So where I can, I've put a white border around them. If they had that tiny little bit of writing, I don't care. I just left it there. Yeah, this one says National Film Board, just crediting where the photo's from. Um, now, when I cut these, I don't cut them perfect at this stage because when I glue them onto the cardboard, then I will cut them exactly where I want. See, this white line is a lot thicker. Then I will cut it down then. And that's just because I don't want to have to cut it perfectly twice. <laughs> and that's when, see some of them, if you leave the white down here, you can make that Polaroid style as well. I won't do that, but if you wanted to, you could. Um, when you cut them out as well, that's when you can decide if you want the right frame or not. See, this picture went right up to the edge of the page, so after I've glued this one down and cut it out, I'll probably take the white border off since one side doesn't have it. Look at this. These are so cool. I love the old farming ones. So I thought I would pop on and make a couple with you. And um, yeah, I know it's lovely to have those originals. But if you don't, don't worry. Just make your own. Okay. Now, <laughs> these stupid pieces. Oh, actually, this has got a nice one on the back I can use as well. Another farming one. We'll keep that guy as well. Okay, now these stupid pieces, of course, what are you going to do with them? You're going to keep them. Oh, gosh. More junk. Um, I don't know if anyone saw or remembers that video I did quite a while back, making kooky paper. <laughs> it was a bit of an experiment, but it turned out really good. Um I'll probably use those for kooky paper. I'll put that video in the link down below. It was a little bit of an experiment to use up, you know, these little strips and stuff and, and really dumb little scraps. And they turned out really, really nice. <laughs> I love how they turned out. Now, I might glue on this ugly side and keep this nice side as the back. Where's my glue book? Okay, now I'm just going to glue a couple. I'm not going to sit here and <laughs> um, let you suffer watching me glue, but now so that they, so that I can use as much of my cardboard as I can, I've kind of been playing Tetris, which is a bit of a waste of time, but see... I've been trying to use up as much as the of the cardboard as I can. Oh, maybe I'll put that. It's kind of hard to use it all up. Something. Huh. 
Aber... And if you use an encyclopedia, you get a really good variety of pictures. It's not all just um, people, <laughs> unless that's what you want. But um, I I even love. Look at this one. This is just a little old house, but I think that's so cute, tucked in a little pocket. Look at this one. Anyway. Okay. And then been sticking them under a heavy book over there to flatten and this is when I decide if I want a border or not and I'm very blind so <laughs> this is going to be a bit wonky I'm too far away. I cannot see what I'm doing. I should probably pull out my paper trimmer, hey? That might... Okay, now I'm going to do like, you know, when you're little and you give Barbie's hair, hair a trim and then, oops, it's uneven and then you keep trimming it and before you know it, she's bald. Okay, I never had a Barbie, but I did <laughs> chop off my sister's doll's hair. I was always a tomboy. I had a skateboard and a football and a cricket bat instead of uh, Barbie dolls. Anyway. I don't mind that it's a bit uneven. I, I glued, I should have glued the picture on the ugly side, but that's okay. But see, they turn out quite nice as, um, you know, they, they look like photos. Like I said, not as good as the real thing, but... Some of the photos in this encyclopedia, they were quite close together. So I'll have to do a thin, thin border on some of them. Oh my gosh. When I see you ladies that cut so nice and straight, look how wonky mine is. I need a pair of those big 
giant super sharp scissors that I've seen you all have. Okay. See, don't they turn out cute? You can ink them as well. Um, should I ink them? I think I might just leave them like that. I don't know. What do you think? Ink or don't ink? Let's ink one and see how it turns out. Inked. I'm not going to ink the front because I quite like the white border, but I might just... Oops. Okay, I went over the white border. Yeah, I don't think you need to ink them, really. I don't know why I have this obsession with the sides. I don't like those <laughs> white sides when you cut it. Yeah, I don't I don't think they need inking. I think they're quite cute just as they are. That'll be a first, me not inking something. Anyway, do I have a pocket? Okay, this is not the pocket I'd put it in. Oh, maybe I'd put something little like this. But yeah, you can just load up a bunch into little pockets in your journal. Okay, so I am going to... I'm going to continue on off camera and glue all of these down because I'm sure you do not want to see me gluing for 10 hours. Um... I'm going to glue all of these down. Look at this. How cool is this picture? I don't know why I love the workman type ones. Um, it's my obsession with workmen. I love the ones on the fishing boats as well. Okay, I'm going to go and glue all of these down off camera. And I will chop them up because you don't want to see me doing Barbie's haircut again. And um, I'll come back and show you some finished photos. Look at this. Wait, let me stand up. I can't see what you're seeing. Look, look how cute this is. So gorgeous. I know just the journal I'm putting this in as well. Okay, I will be back with the finished ones. Okay, I've finished gluing and chopping, <laughs> and I've made so many. That took forever, actually. Anyway, I'll show you a few. I think seeing them piled there like that, they do kind of look like real photos. I mean, the only, the only thing, you've got the little bits of writing from the encyclopedia under some of the pictures. Not all of them have it, but some. But, um... I think they look super cute and great substitute for real photos if you can't find those real photos. Anyway, let's have a look at a few. That picture is really, really cute. I just love it. And by using the encyclopedias, you also get this really random mixed... Um, I've left them... With the coffee dyed cardboard on the back. I didn't end up inking them. I thought they kind of look like more. I don't know. They kind of look photo ish from the front without the inking. The back. You could probably, if you didn't use um, coffee dyed paper, it might look more real on the back. See, they're very random, which <laughs> which I really love. This one's really, I love this one. This one's cute as well.
I love how they're all different uh, shapes and sizes as well. So you can just chuck them, chuck them aside and pop them in pockets and tuck spots in your journals. Just use them as journal cards. I like this little size. See, random. This is a lady unpacking boxes. <laughs> I think they're so cute. Oops, let me move that one back. Holiday photos. Old Aunt Ethel out the back making something. It's just a building. <laughs> Rayleigh, I don't know why, but I feel like I need to send this one to you. Oh, this one had a kind of sepia colour to it. Didn't have a white border, so I just left it as is. Like the ones with the old cars, it's like a step back in time. Okay, I don't think you need to see all these. I kind of want to look through them now. Wombat, that's for you, James. Koala bear. Lot of Uncle Jim on his fishing boat. <laughs> I actually look like I'm. I actually, sorry, feel like. Um, I actually feel like I'm looking through old photos. These little ones are cute. That looks like a real photo, that one. Yeah, so, I mean... The real photos are great, but like I said, if you can't find any, because they're very hard to find um, in Sydney, I don't know about um, everywhere else, but I've heard a lot of the Australian girls say they, they can't find old black and white photos. Just um, grab an encyclopedia. You can usually pick up the encyclopedias really cheap. Um, a lot of the op shops don't even take them anymore because they have so many and they say they're hard to find. But, um, you know, recycle centres like Reverse Garbage and that, um, they always have them and they sell them really cheap just to get rid of them because they get so many. This one could be a postcard. Yeah, I, I much prefer the white frame around them than the picture right to the edge like that. Oh, these two weren't photographs. Those were um, pictures of paintings, but I did them at the same time just to pop in journals as journal cards. They were pretty pictures. And there's uh, Uncle Jim up the ladder fixing the roof. Oh, the big ones. Um... Some of the big pictures didn't fit on my little cardboard squares because that's how big they are. Um, so, see, that was, some were just a tad too big. So what I did with those, um, I just used the pages at the front and back of the encyclopedia um, because they're, they're quite thick, like card anyway, and... It's kind of the same <laughs> thickness of a real photo. So that was one of them. 
they're more white on the back i mean it's probably a more realistic look for photos on the back these ones i did just slightly distress the edges just yellowed them up a little because um yeah it was too white for my liking um that's another one oh and i've got a few left over that i still need to glue down but I do have lots of cardboard left, which I'll probably use for some other projects because I got sick of cutting and gluing. That, um, yeah, that took forever. But there's quite a few there, which is great. So, I mean, I've got some little pockets that I can just, you know, pop a bunch of little photos in for journals. think that'll be nice you can, and then whoever gets the journal they can use them as little journal cards right on the back and stuff like that anyway that's my little faux photos as I said keep your little scraps oh I have to show you one more thing before I go keep your scraps because we'll um we'll find a use for them now when I was trimming these of course I got a lot of these little sticks <laughs> these really really thin stupid little strips i don't want to open it because it's going to pop out on oh, no. a i've squished them in so really dumb stupid little strips we're gonna do something with those as well anyway that's it have fun. Chop, chop, chop. Thanks for watching. Bye.